Hey there, anime fan. Welcome to Versus, where I compare something to some other thing and see which thing is the best thing. Today, I'm comparing two of Miyazaki's leading ladies, San from Princess Mononoke and Nausicaa from Nausicaa and the Valley of the Wind. Let's start with backstory. San was raised by wolf spirits in the wilderness of feudal Japan and helps them battle the encroaching forces of civilization. Nausicaa, on the other hand, is the princess of a small kingdom called the Valley of the Wind, and she's trying to help her people adapt to and understand the world they live in. My main criticism of Nausicaa's backstory is I don't really understand her motivations. The humans of her world rightly fear and hate the toxic jungle, and yet for some reason, Nausicaa thinks it ain't so bad. We learn halfway through the movie that the jungle has an important function, but Nausicaa didn't know that. She just started growing potentially lethal plants in her basement for some reason. San, on the other hand, has easy to understand motives. You mean sticking something sharp and pawny in Lady Eboshi's trachea? That's more a goal than a motivation. Okay, revenge for the animals and trees destroyed by Irontown. But she also wants to protect her pack. She was raised by wolves, so this wolf-like behavior makes a lot of sense. San's role in the conflict is a bit more confusing, though. Other than being the lone human fighting for the forest, I don't know why she's so darn important. Nausicaa's importance is completely understandable. She's both a princess and the ruler of the Valley of the Wind. It's her responsibility to see that it survives and thrives. But that minor issue aside, the point goes to San. Now let's see who's Miss Congeniality in the personality section. San, as is well established by this point, has a lot of wolf-like qualities. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Where? Oh, you had me going there for a second. I thought the commander was here. That means that San will do anything for her pack. But if you're, say, human... Which is likely... As far as she's concerned, you can go drop dead. And if you don't drop quick enough, she'll give you a little push. Then there's Nausicaa, who's practically perfect in every way. She's kind, wise, and fair. Both definitions. She does have a few personality quirks, though. Spoilers incoming. The toxic jungle is actually purifying the planet of pollution, and Nausicaa believes that humanity were the ones who messed the place up to begin with. Now, she's right, but how does she know that? It's never explained. Nausicaa's also kind of passive-aggressive. San's just aggressive. Nausicaa's also smarter than San, I think. Or at least less willing to let her emotions drive her decisions. Nausicaa doesn't need Ashitaka or Admiral Akbar to tell her she's walking into a trap. I like San, I think she's a great character, but the point goes to Nausicaa. Now let's see which one of these two warrior princesses is better in a fight. San specializes in simple weapons and mounted combat. One-on-one, -on -one, she's armed with homemade spears and knives fashioned from either rock or bone. Primitive though they are, in her hands they're deadly. And she's fast as hell even when she's not riding one of those big dire wolves. Nausicaa's a bit more of a ranged fighter. She's good with firearms and improvised explosive devices, and her glider comes armed with flashbang grenades. But she's not helpless in melee combat. She can handle a room full of stormtroopers no problem. Yeah, like that's hard. So if it was down to a fight between the two, if it was up close, San would win. If it was at a distance, Nausicaa would win. So both get a point. Now let's end with style. Which one of these two heroines looks cooler? So I'll send you over to our fashion correspondent. Thank you, darling. Both of these lethal ladies are absolutely dressed to kill. Nausicaa in an ensemble of blue and white that's practical for walking around that nasty old toxic jungle and soaring through the skies overhead on her glider. It also has plenty of pouches and pockets for ammunition and other things. San looks just fabulous in uh, rags and animal skins. Ew. But she makes it work. And she loves to accessorize with both war masks and face paint. Thank you, fashion correspondent. One of my ongoing criticisms of Miyazaki's style is that his characters look just a bit too plain compared to the mind-blowing richness of his environments. But San's the exception to that rule. She's very detailed and extremely well-designed. Nasuka, though, is just a bit too simplified. So I give the design category to San. And that means that the wolf girl wins, but just by a nose. If you're interested in more reviews of anime, movies, video games, and TV shows, check out my YouTube channel at StupidPrivate913. Thanks for watching. Hey kids, today's show is brought to you by the letter 4 and the number potato! I'm a stupid private!